that in the comments that you love us. They uh, they love, love us. your lords. They I mean, not lords. They love Dane. They love Dane. Right, Dane I'm is sorry. your lord. So uh, after that, you can follow me on social media on Instagram at Brodasovic. And then from there, if you once you do that on the YouTube channel, you can go into the description box of any of those videos and find the Spotify playlist that has every episode unabridged start to finish. And we're not just on Spotify. We are on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts. We are also on Pandora. And we'll be back with another episode with Hannah Claire tomorrow. See you then, guys. Bye. 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 We did it. Good job. Thank you. That went well. I don't know how the hell we got on the talk of the sad dogs, but <laughs> I, I mean, it's kind of pop culture, so they're ugly. They're not ugly. Oh. <laughs> episode, that was episode 50. Good job, guys. <laughs> Pugs. Nice. Pugs are not. You guys see him there? Yeah, I did. When did you see him? A few seconds ago. I learned to ignore Nick when he's filming unless I want him to not film me, and then I say, Sneaky hi, Ninja. Ninja. <laughs> Don't put the camera on my face. <laughs>
the other day, we the ramps required the bolts to be checked, the, the screws to be checked intermittently. Oh, it's gonna be loud down here. They come up from the ramps, like when you roll over them consistently, the, you know, the weight going up and down on it causes the screws to come loose. So I'm gonna check, there was a, one, one really bad one that was really loose. So I've gotta find out where it was and fix it. There's, see, you can see it's, uh, it's no longer flush with the ramp. And it's not like your skates are gonna cause problems on that, but your clothes will get caught and it ends up ruining your shirts. You tend to notice them while you're actually out skating more than you notice them when you're actually going to do it here. Looks like they didn't even recess the bolt on that one. They didn't even care. I would imagine there's less of it over here because the side of the ramp gets less. Lessons. And we'll go outside and check those afterwards. That one's mostly me out there. There's less people skating outside this time of year because nobody else wants to be out in the cold. Except for me. Then they make fun of everybody because they're from Minnesota. That's what you do when you're from Minnesota. You make fun of other people for being babies in the cold. I was out there one night and I'm just like, Looking down at the ramp, catching my breath, and I'm like, wow, that bolt is like really far out there, right? I'm like, well, when I grind on this quarter pipe, I'm always like, I go right past it. It's like right in the middle. I'm never gonna hit that. Literally on the next jump, just pulled one of my, you guys think my shirts are long now. You should have seen it after this happened. It was like even more of a dress than it already is. It's like 40 degrees out, it's so freaking nice out. Oh, I love this weather. If it were up to me, 52 to 55 all year round. Does that even exist somewhere? Scotland or something? Scotland. There's an evil boat around me flag that people make comments about because they don't know what the fuck it means. There, now my shirt is less likely to... Less likely to... I feel like it's like they got to the end of the ramp, just like, fuck it. <laughs> Put them in, however. Actually, they did a really good job building this stuff, so I am kidding. Let's double check the up here. I've been secretly loosening them so that everybody gets caught on them. Okay, I think we're done. God, it's so nice out. Where's Ben? Is he back here? I feel like Ben's been back here building a Batmobile. We just don't know it. The Benmobile. That's right. What about Ben? Not the Batmobile part. How you doing? What are you working on? Uh, what happens when your, uh, your tool things fall apart? You can't find what you need. You keep it all hidden now so people don't take your stuff? No. There was just one time some confusion and some stuff was taking it up and back. That's okay, that happens. As long as it's not repeat fits, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. I think I gotta go shopping. I'm missing an 18 millimeter socket and I need it. But that was not stolen, I just don't think it came with the set. I don't necessarily enjoy mechanic work, but if it can save me thousands of dollars versus buying a new truck, then um, yeah. I have an 18 inch socket, but I need a deep socket. I'm trying to remove basically the rear axle so I can refreeze it and make sure there's no broken teeth. So, oh, exactly. 19, a 17, a 15, and I have an 18. I don't know why I didn't come with 18. That sucks. Anyway, we might as well get all the tools in. Oh, here's one. This might work. It's magic. No. Not gonna have, it's not gonna be able to take the torque. No. It's a uh, 3 8 inch driver, we need a half or a quarter. So I'm not gonna risk that, it might just break the wrench. So. All right. We took off all the brakes, so that's essentially what you can see right here. The brake drum, the brake uh, juice, we have all the hardware components. Yeah. 
most important thing is safety. You never want to do this unless you're absolutely sure it's not going to fall on you. So having multiple points of, um, of uh, jack stands on the frame, on the axle, one way in the back because it has more leverage, it's easier for to hold it up. Um, that's super critical. I mean, in an ideal world, I have a lift, but I don't think we need a lift. Personally. 